This video will just be a quick demonstration to show you how our new um, SD72 parent portal works with integration with our team. So right now I'm logged in as a parent, one of our demo parents here um, in our parent portal website itself. We do have an app for Android and Apple devices, but you can see I'm logged into the parent portal right here. That by default, it lands on the district school board landing page. And this will basically duplicate things that are on the public site that have been published there. Our upcoming events, um, these are our, our, our screen slides that go across the top. Here are some of our quick links, okay? What also a parent will see is whatever students that they have registered in the school district, they will see them up here as well. So this is one of our demo students. If I click on this, student itself, now it's going to reflect is direct messages or events that are connected to that student either through the teachers, so this is teacher communication, or over here is a Pinecrest upload from the calendar itself. We don't quite yet have the um, teacher calendar yet, but we're hoping that we will be able to get there. We have the assignments listed here that the teachers have uploaded. And again, we're not quite there yet where they can click to see what the assignment is, but at least you're aware of uh, the assignments that your student does have. We can click into the calendar here and that will, that will display both our district as well as our school ones. So here I can see that that is my school one and I can tell that that because there it is down below right here. If I click on that, I have included a link and an attachment that um, the parents will be able to access as well. Here's the attachment, so you can attach, you know, if it's a hot lunch, you can do a hot lunch order form. Um, here's my permission form and then a link. You can also put a description of what uh, you want the parents to know more information about that specific event. I can also um, take a look at student details that we have exported from my ed. And now this isn't 100% complete yet. We are getting there, but this is just our demo site. So we can look at um, the demographics um, right down into information about the student themselves. So there's our PIN number, which is really going to be valuable um, in the long run. And then we can look at um, the contact information. Now this can't be changed online here, but at least we can see, the parents can see the different contact information. We can also look at the attendance. So right here we see that this student, if I drill right down, um, was away September 16th for the AM and for the 15th for the AM itself. The next exciting thing is the reporting. We don't have anything listed here yet, but what you will see is you will see um, the marks, the comments, and the work habits for each of the course listed here for each of the reporting periods. So this is what it looks like basically from the parent view itself. The way that we populate information onto this site is two ways. One, admins and administrative assistants will populate events um, through their website, which will show up um, under the tab for each student, or the teacher can populate the assignments and these discussion posts, these messages to parents, rate, right, and teams. So I'm going to pop into Teams. This is my demo site for Teams itself. And I'm going to show you how um, very easily using my conversation post right here, I can add messages to the parent portal um, for, for parents to receive. So I'm going to click on this new conversation button right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to at mention the parents. Now, in order for this to work, you do have to install what's called an outgoing webhook, which I have created a video for that as well. So I'm going to use my at sign and just type in parents. And there it is right there. And then what I like to do is I like to click on this little button right here because now I can expand it. And now it's more like a, uh, a Word document. So I'm going to say, hello, parents. 
please see the link below for the uh, permission form needed for this week. Now, what we have discovered is that you cannot just click on the attach right here and um, have parents access the attachments through here. You do have to do it as a link. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go right into my OneDrive folder and I'm going to go to my desktop where my permission form is. And I'm going to right click and share. And notice how it's a PDF, always share PDF files. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that link and paste it in. So I'm going to copy that link right there. Yeah. Go back to my team over here and I'm going to insert a link. Parent permission form, paste that link. The other thing that I can do, and I've been asked about this is, is uh, teachers that would like to share pictures. So um, you can, share links to a whole folder full of pictures and you just want to be careful about um, the type of pictures and you know um, FIPA and making sure that you don't have any students in there that shouldn't have their images shared. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back over to my um, OneDrive and on my OneDrive I have a folder full of pictures right here, flower pics. And I'm going to, again, share exactly the same way. I'm going to, and this time I don't want anyone to edit it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on here and I'm going to uncheck the box where it says allow editing. And I'm going to click apply. I'm going to copy that link. Go back into my message, insert a new link. And I'm going to call it, paste that, and insert. So now if I click send, two things are going to happen. I'm going to get a notification from the team owner, as a team owner, saying that the webhook replied from, to my conversation. What that means is that it was successfully sent. So that parents now, I'm going to go into the parent portal now, parents now will be able to access and see that message that I just sent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh this parent portal page and by default it's going to go back to the school board. I'm going to go back to my student message and there it is right there. Now this is on the website. Parents actually receive a little notification on their phone if they have downloaded the parent portal app onto their own phone to see this post. So what I can do now is I can click on my parent permission form and I can also click on the flower picture app. And what you'll notice there is that because I said that there's no editing allowed, these the editing icon is crossed out and teachers or sorry parents can just click on them and they can do this from their mobile device as well. Click on those images and see those images. Now we're going to take a look to see what it looks like through the parent app itself on the phone. So you can see that when we land there, it goes to the board page. Both of our students are loaded up there. And when I click on the student, I can see my discussion post that I've added as teachers. Here I can actually click on the discussion post and access the links that I have inserted through there through my um, uh, OneDrive links. And you can see that by tapping on it, it automatically opens it up on the device itself for the parents. The next thing that we're going to access here is the assignments tab. So again, um, just like in the other screen, I can see my assignments. I can't tap on them to open them up, but at least I can see what's been do, uh, what's been assigned. Now I'm looking at my calendar here. It's exactly the same as the website. I can tap on it and I can open it up in here. I can open up my attachments as well as any of my links. And the last thing that I wanna take a look at is just the demographics that we can see for each of the students, just like we can on the web app. Um, tapping there will give the personal information. It will give the school information. And we can also see things like attendance, 
um, marks, um, anything else, just like we see in the web app. 